Today I show you how to change the random Mac Wi-Fi setting on your Android phone. You can show a randomized Mac address to the Wi-Fi so that network doesn't see your real Mac address. Before we continue, I want to explain a little bit what the Mac address is. In a few words, the MAC address is the physical address of your phone, like an ID, like the IMEE number, like the serial number of your phone, of the Wi-Fi network connection. So the card of the phone, when it connects to another Wi-Fi, it sends an ID, it has a unique ID. This is a way for that network to identify the phone before it gets an IP address. And the IP address is what everyone sees and domain names. But before you get the IP address, you have the MAC, which is the physical address on the network, on the Wi-Fi or on the fixed wired internet. When you connect to a Wi-Fi network that is not your own network, maybe it's from a restaurant or a cafe, when you use the randomized MAC address, the Wi-Fi network doesn't know much about your device. The code of the MAC address contains the brand, the manufacturer name, the company. From the MAC address, you can identify a device that is connected to the Wi-Fi. You can also, from the code only, if you see it on the Wi-Fi network, you can also uh, see what brand it is, which like this one is Sony Xperia. And in some phones, I'm not sure, you could even see the model. I'm not sure about that. Maybe only the manufacturer, the brand. So you could see that someone with the phone of a specific brand model or just brand connected to the network. In some cases, you don't want to have the randomized MAC address so that you maybe if it's at home, you have some specific services you want to connect from and to allow your phone to connect, then you want to allow this MAC address if you have any filtering like that. But if most of the time, randomized MAC address will work fine. So enough with the talk, enough with the talk. I'll show you right now. This is the Android 15 on Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5. And this is going to be very similar on most phones with small differences. So we have the Wi-Fi setting there and I got it, I got to this, I opened the Wi-Fi settings from the internet, from the quick settings, but you can also open from the settings app, go to network and internet. And here you can tap on internet and you see which Wi-Fi network you're connected to. I'm connected to this network and I can see details about it, the strength. I can share the network with a QR code. You have the security settings, which is the password of the network and the type, but you also have privacy here. And now to connect. If it's a network that you if it's a network that you don't want to use automatically or you don't use often, you can disable auto connect. It will not connect to that Wi-Fi, but you are already connected. So you have to disconnect if you are already connected. Most important setting here for changing the MAC address is the privacy here. And I have the setting to use the device MAC address because it's a home network. I have the setting to use device MAC and to send the device name. This also, it, the network gets the device name. Through the network, you will see the device name. And you can disable the device name and you can use randomized MAC address and you saw it disconnected from Wi-Fi and now it's connecting again. So it's, it's connected. Now it's connected to the network and it's showing me the randomized MAC address. You see, this is how the MAC address looks like. And that's the IP address. The IP address, usually you have dots between it and only numbers. For IPv4, the newer ones, they will look more like the MAC address, actually. It's a long story to go in too much detail. But that's how the MAC address looks like. You don't really need the MAC address once you get the IP address. The MAC address is only for the local network, only for talking the device talking directly to the internet box, to the Wi-Fi router. To remove the random MAC address and use a device MAC address, I sound like a duck saying MAC, MAC, MAC all the time. And you go there into the security, privacy here and privacy. And you just put the settings to whatever you prefer. You can use device and send device name. You can use the device Mac without having to send the device name, but here on the local network, I can do that. This is for each Wi-Fi network. Those settings I did now, they apply for this network and I can disconnect now and connect. So it's connected. Okay, so device MAC address 
send device name, I change it and it's uh, reconnecting again. I think I forgot to change it back before. So privacy, use device MAC address, you see it's disconnecting and then it's connecting again and I can change it back to use device MAC address and it's connected again. You will see the device MAC address once you change the setting to the, use the device MAC address. This applies to this network. If I want to connect to another network, I can have another setting. So you can have a randomized MAC address on one Wi-Fi and the device MAC address on another Wi-Fi. I hope this helps you. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions and if you use the randomized MAC address. Thanks for watching.